Hey guys, so I'm working from home today and I realized that the two office chairs that I've got at my house, um, one of them is very uncomfortable to sit in for long periods of time, which is what I would need to do when working. Um, and the other, so I switched chairs, um, the other one, the cushion, the seat cushion is much better, but I realized it doesn't raise up as high as the other chair. So I'm going to try to show you here, um, both of these chairs are raised to their highest setting and you can see this one is much higher. So I figured out the issue. So down here on the bottom, on the base, the swivel base, um, you can see how much protrudes on this one. So it's, you know, less than a finger width. Now if we look at this other chair, you can see it is over a finger width. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Stay tuned. So what you're going to need for this is a hammer and an aluminum can. So to get this base off, um, you basically want to hold up on the base and strike the bottom of the uh, metal tube here. While you're pulling the base and striking the tube, this will come up off there. So inside of here, see if I can, you see this silver ring in here? Um, that's like a piece of aluminum that just acts as a stop. Um, this tube here is tapered, and so once it gets to a certain point, it'll stop. The problem is this little ridge in here is worn down, and it's allowing this base to slide further up on this tube. So what I did is I just cut a piece of aluminum can, um, just cut a sliver that would fit into this opening, like so. And this, this opening in the base is tapered too, so um, what I did is I had the, the full length and I wrapped it in there and I had some overlap and I just took a marker and drew where the overlap was and then trimmed it off with some scissors. So I'm going to leave this a little proud of the top here and slide it down over because as I just knocked that on there a couple times. And now it is a little higher. I'm going to leave my can a little more proud than I had it originally. And you can kind of just press that base. You don't really have to hammer it down. Um, but you can see my spacing. It's, it's right at a finger width. So it's going to be closer to what it was originally. And now if you see, they're much closer to the same height. So maybe this will help uh, if you've got a chair that's sunk too low and has a base like this, uh, give this a shot. See y'all later.